Hey, 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 welcome to another Valley Forged. Today, I'm talking about this little guy. Uh, I have it on the screen. <laughs> it is a laser camera. Well, it's a lot more than that, but uh, for me, it's a laser camera. And surprisingly, I've never used a laser camera. Yes, I've made tens of thousands of products on lasers. I've been reviewing them for a while. I just never used a camera because I've been kind of in motion the past couple of years with, you know, things that have had gone on and then, you know, several moves. In fact, I'm not even sure when my last stop is going to be. So things haven't really been set. And so I didn't want to go through the trouble of setting up a camera. And I was a little intimidated, to be honest. Uh, I felt like once you had it set up, then that's it. You know, I, I don't want to be messing with it. But I've always wanted to try it, so uh, Mintian? I've, I, you know, I've heard the reviewers call it Mintian. I thought it would be Minchin. But uh, they have been making cameras for 3D printers for a while, so this isn't somebody who just come out with something new. This thing does a ton of things, and I can't even begin to get into it. I mean, it does time lapse. You can run... This, you could run your whole laser from this camera without even tying up into your computer. It has, the Wi-Fi works really good. But uh, I wasn't really, I was too intimidated to do any of that, even though I watched a couple of videos and uh, I will put them in the description. We have uh, My Tech Fun, who has been using these for a long time. And also... Uh, Buster Beagle 3D, who's also, re I mean, been using 3D printers a long time, so they both have a lot of experience. And I, I believe uh, they both use them for different reasons than I was interested in, because I just wanted to be able to know where my laser was pointing, so, you know, I didn't have to get up and sit down all the time. I could just look. But... Uh, yeah, it does way more stuff. So I encourage you to watch those videos and uh, if you're interested in this kind of thing and learn a lot more. But here, I'm going to go through my experience, which is, again, a complete newbie. When I opened this box for this camera, I was literally, this is my first time dealing with a laser camera or any kind of camera for a 3D printer or laser or whatever. So... Here was my initial look and the unboxing of the thing itself, which, you know, it comes with a lot of stuff. I was super surprised at just how much stuff is in this box. I mean, it's got a pretty big manual, bigger than, you know, just about any laser out there uh, because it does so many different things. But I was, you know, it comes with the, all the cards you need to be able to set it up. But look at how many cables it comes with. Because it does so many different things, you can add cables for different things. And it's kind of a cool pen that does uh, <laughs> measuring. I thought that was neat. But yeah, okay, I, I, I kind of like that. That was cool. Um, and then, of course, you've got the uh, camera itself. Seems nice, but hey, you know what? You know me, I'm not interested in most anything. I just want it to work. I want it to work out of the box. I don't want to do a lot of fiddling around. And uh, believe me, for however much this camera costs, I'm not going to shill, you know, something if it's not excellent. And uh, I would have let them know right away if I didn't like it. Now, there was something that I, that I did want to let you guys know, so stay tuned for that. <clears throat> but look at all the stuff it comes with. It's just like incredible. It comes with a little tripod. Now mine happened to be broken. So uh, I thought this was great for me. Now I've got another one because I, I don't need it. I'm using this as a camera for my laser. So that's just kind of extra. But here I wanted to show you that it doesn't fit in my enclosure. So that was the one thing that I was going to say. Um, I did have to move out the longer onto uh, a separate board. And if you guys know how I feel about the longer, it is one of the greatest lasers ever. Uh, but the fan noise drives me nuts. And uh, 
<laughs> having it outside of the enclosure it made it so much worse. So this is really something. Now you can set this on the tripod and you can use it for time lapse and to run your computer and to just watch everything. It's super cool that way. But I want it to be able to work with Lightburn. And so to be able to do that, I can't do it in my current enclosure. I would need to uh, build my own, which I want to do. I'm getting the extension for the uh, eights or 36 watt. So I'm going to need a new enclosure for that. So I will build it with the camera, but that's not happening right now. So this is what I had to do. So the setup was like ridiculously easy. It's like, there's no reason to even show you guys. You can go watch other videos if you need to, but it was so easy. There, I, I wanted to do a shot of the camera. I mean, not, not the camera. I wanted to do a shot of how loud this thing is. I just can't listen to that all day. And uh, when I was talking about the 36 watt, it, it shuts off when it's not in use, which really makes it better. So here I did a cardboard thing. One of the channels I mentioned told you how to do this whole process and it was like super simple. It worked the very first time. The only uh, difference that I made was I printed out a full sheet of these dots and it worked so perfectly. And I've learned that from other channels. They told me that don't worry about the card, just make your own. And uh, it really was great. So here's me, uh, I, you know, I decided it was super simple. I had already set it up. I put it up with the camera. Uh, it seemed to be all better than the other channels at like right away. I, I got it on the first try, you know, uh, they just pretty much nailed it. I had to do a little bit of, uh, but watch what happened here. The, uh, <laughs> the downforce, I didn't even have the air on. But the downforce from the fan itself blew the piece of wood away. And so it made a mark on there. In fact, here it is. You can see the quarter, the quarter mark. Did it on the back too. It's just like, okay, I got to put a magnet on it or, you know, keep it down. I didn't want to do that. I was trying to make things simple and fast. I was so excited. I mean, literally, I set this camera up and it worked. It was almost dead on, like my very first try. And as much as I've been trying to stay away from cameras uh, because I was a little intimidated, there is something really special about being able to just see what you're doing in the camera and framing it and, you know, I, I thought it was just kind of magical. You know, I love lasers. I, it's, it's something I wake up every day and I can't wait to make new things. And this was a different experience for me, being able to see it through a camera and uh, just type and then put it in the view and then just hit run. Uh, it, it is a different kind of experience. It's kind of magic. So I did that, as you'll see here, I just typed freehand, like right where it showed the piece of wood was, and then I uh, just did a fill. I hopefully sped this up uh, so that we're not, I know I did. There's no way I would have sat here like watching a fill for 10 minutes or five minutes or however long this took. Okay, well, I guess I'll be speeding this up then. I forgot to, uh, to speed it up already. Ha, there it goes. So I didn't have to do any lining up by looking at it or doing a, you know, ring around it. And hey, it turned out great. I didn't have to frame it. Just freehanded it right in the middle of a square. This is going to be super useful for me. But can I do it now? I can't. It's got to, you know, it has to go in my enclosure. And so uh, that's really the only downside right now. I may be able to put it in this enclosure, but like I said, I'm going to get the extension. So that's going to be a whole new animal. So I am very much looking forward to using uh, the camera. And I think it's really, really good. I think you should... If you want a camera for Lightburn, I think, of course, you should look around uh, and pit it up against anything else and see all the different things that it does that 
Uh, the other ones don't do, which is quite a bit. And uh, again, the, the company's been doing this for a while. So, you know, I feel pretty good about it. I, I The fact that I was able to, on my first try, set it up uh, and uh, get it going both on the Wi-Fi, which I hate dealing with Wi-Fi when it comes to lasers. I don't, I haven't even turned my Wi-Fi on in most of my lasers because I just can't stand dealing with it. This was super easy and it literally speaks to you. You don't have to like look at things to see if it worked. It just says, okay, it's connected. And so that was kind of nice. They have a phone app and all that, which is used for 3D printers. So it's pretty robust and it works really well. I signed up for it, but I don't really have a use for that right now. This is not my thing. I want to use it with Lightburn just the way that I did. So I'm, I'm happy with that. And maybe I will get to the other things later because being able to do a time lapse, you know, and show you guys what I'm doing and how the laser's working and is that's a cool idea and it's a cool thing for me to be able to do. But frankly, I'm working. I'm making stuff for Christmas right now. I got no time to be BSing around, uh, which if the camera was set up would save me time. And that's kind of what I'm looking for. And it probably would save me on wood and expenses that, you know, just times where I'm going to mess up. When you do a frame, sometimes, you know, you don't get it perfect. I'll put all the links, of course, below in the description. So if you're interested, jump on that. Not an affiliate link. I got. I don't really like doing those too much. But I do like pointing people to the things that I'm talking about in case they want to look at it. So anyway, that's all I'm going to say for that. Uh... I think it's a good camera and uh, I got no complaints. So other than it won't fit in my uh, enclosure, but I guess none of them will. So I will see you all in the next one. Love y'all.